Hey guys, what is up? This is Anthony bringing you my first episode of on LGN doing game mode reviews on Modern Warfare 3. This is the first episode, which is Team Deathmatch, as you can see. This is a game mode review of what is the most fun to play by yourself and gives you the most XP rewarding. Right, granted, yes, not everybody is an amazing player like not everybody can get high kills high score so that there's also things like drop zone uh, domination demolition where you can just go in do the objective and then leave so that way you don't have to get lots of kills and die a lot doing the actual objective um this game I'm not sure what I came out with my kill to death ratio I think it was an actual all right um, for a team deathmatch, I have a lot of fun if I'm playing with a team. If you can get a place locked down, then it is fun to play. Yes, by yourself, not so much because you sometimes may have a team that isn't as good as you are, what are what are also too good and steal all your kills. Well, not steal your kills, but they get there before you do. For the fun factor, out of 1 of 10, I would rate this a maximum of 5. In my personal opinion, I would rate this a maximum of 5 because you have to have a team. You have to have people you know on your team working with you, otherwise it's not going to be as good. It also depends on what killstreak rewards you are running, specialist support, assault. On this map, throughout... Oh, and also the perks of what you are using on this I am using um, the PP 90 one extended mags gold as you can see frag grenade two stuns um, I am using care package I believe it's care package precision airstrike and then strafe run I don't think I get the strafe run in this game but it also depends on what the map size is if you know the map well and where people are going. Like I said, for me, the fun factor of this is a maximum of five because you need to have fun on a game, otherwise, you're not going to want to play it anymore, are you? But for this, I found it to be a maximum of five for me because I didn't have a team I was playing with. I didn't like the map. Well, I do like this map, it's just I don't like the enemies I was against. I found it to be a lot more challenging because. For me, I felt like I was doing the best on my team. Not not being big, he big headed or anything, but I, if I do play a game, I might call you a play to win. Nobody just plays. Well, there is a few people out there who play for fun, but me myself, I am a slight competitive gamer. I do like to win. Like doesn't everybody? But like I said, uh, for the fun factor, it's a maximum of five out of ten. For your experience to level up, now that all depends if you are a good gamer, if you can get the kills, less deaths, more assists and stuff like that. <coughs> Sorry. Right, if you can, if you can get lots of kills, then you are fine with Team Deathmatch because it's 100 points for every kill you get. So, you get 29 kills, I think I got in this map. Lovely triple kill there. That's how easy team deathmatch can be. But yeah, like I was saying, um, if you can get those kills, like I think I get 29 kills in this match. I'm not entirely sure, but it's 100 kills per point, so 29 kills, 2,900 points. The new assists also count. I think it is 20 points. <clears throat> I'm not entirely sure, but if it is, then. It's, it's okay if you have teammates but can also help you out. Like, if you put perk. <coughs> Sorry about this, I've just got a thing for it. If you have the perk recon on, then you are fine. That way, you can tag people, get a lot of assists, maybe help towards your killstreak reward if you have hardline on. But it also depends on what your personal preference for your. Like, um perks are and also what type oh sorry about that <coughs> also what type of assault streak well uh, what type of 
I can't really think of the word. What type of streaker are you using? I'll just say that. But it, it, some people prefer specialist. I do, but I'm going to be using assault. But back to the main thing. Review of team deathmatch for me. It's fun, but only with friends. Your experience is good, but only if you have a team where you can work with and if you know the map well. Like, for me, I know the Modern Warfare 3 map pretty well. I've played it a long time. I think I have, I know it's sad, but I think I have something like 24 days playing time. But only because I love Modern Warfare 2. I love, I love the Modern Warfare series. COD 4, Modern Warfare 2, and then Modern Warfare 3 now. There's some things about it I don't like, some things I do. But, in the end, I'll still play it. I'm looking forward to Black Ops 2, don't get me wrong. But, I probably will still play Modern Warfare 3. Sometimes. But, like I said, game mode review. Uh, I get, I believe that is 29 to 7 on my entire show. I get the last kill with an IMS. Um... <clears throat> like I said, kill streaks can work for something. Yeah, that is 29, 29 kills. But please like, comment, subscribe, and then hopefully you will stick around and see my series. Goodbye.